What is up, guys? We are back with the third episode of Run 2 in the Lania ship in our FTL series. I am Romans 13.4, as always. And so, right off the bat, we have a beacon that we could not go anywhere from. And distress. Let's go here, distress up and around to the exit. Not much of interest nearby. A small sun in the distance with a few orbiting planets is nearby space provide little interest. Alright, so that's nothing. Let's go see who needs help. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire. We can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? That I could for 32 scrap. So we want to hit up the quest for sure getting closer to 600 once we get 600 we're just dumping it all into ship stuff your sensors are picking up a distress call on an encrypted Federation channel you will eventually find a Federation scout being chased by a rebel fighter we're gonna help the Federation guy cause that's who we that's who we're fighting for or we're fighting with I guess Looks like he has a burst laser mark two, a single fire laser, just as one shot, and a beam. And that's the problem with the burst laser mark two, is that it can get through two laser shields. Alright, let's go here again. Hopefully that guy can take out that fire by himself. Yeah, he's good. Alright, we got a fire in their weapons now, so... That should help us out a lot. It's still online though, so I want to try to... There we go. Got the burst laser offline. And uh, it's going to be offline for a while. Alright, we're killing most of everybody on the ship. Everybody's so hurt. Now their shields are offline. Killed both those guys. Put the last one on the... Or wherever this guy goes, we're going to put it on that. Just so that we can kill him. And kill the ship at the same time. Put him out of his misery, because I'm a nice guy. With the ship destroyed, you quickly collect useful resources. Wow, we got a bunch of stuff. So close. We're so close. We are so close to 600. That is awesome. Okay, so what we have here some dangerous people. That's an attack that's an attack drone mark two. So him and that laser could get through my shields. Uh it's gonna be close. The laser's offline now, so we're gonna go straight for the drone. Get that drone offline and then go for shields, I guess. Because if the drone is lucky, I'm pretty sure that the drone can actually get through two layers of shields. So. So we don't want to have him on line for sure. Actually, I don't know if the attack drone can get through two layers of shields. Oh, I missed. Alright. Almost dead. One more shot should do it. As long as it doesn't miss. More than once. That is enough. We just got it. That is awesome. So now we have the layout 2 of the Lanish Cruiser. Alright, let's get some stuff upgraded. It's been hard to hold off. Let's see. If I can do... I could do that. Then I could have everything... Or I need more power. I could have everything online. 
Except for the Ion Stunner, because I don't really need that. And with my weapons pre-igniters, all this stuff will be online the instant we jump. And that is extremely important for Flak 2, since it takes so long to charge. Um, we could also take this off. To give us an extra power. We want triple shields. First and foremost. And then I think... We're going to work on... Let's see, how many more powers can we get? We can get two for the hacking. Which is, we want to get hacking up for the final boss. We could actually get two power for this. So if I upgrade this guy that many times, then we could actually get two power from this and pop that into that right at the start of a battle. And then we'll get some more reactor power when we have enough scrap. We could have not bought all four and bought only three and then bought a reactor, but that's all right. All right, so now we have like, wow, this guy's got no shields. So just throw this right there. Get some shields, guy. Yeah, that was easy. The flat cannon really is only used for shields mainly, so. I'm going to save up a little bit just in case we find a store, just because I would like to get uh, cloaking, if we can. Alright, here we go. This is where it gets real. Hold on. We're in a mind control. That guy. Now they have no... Evasion. We're gonna do that. Or we're going to do this there, and this there. That was beautiful. We got intruders. I forgot about that. Send both of you. Let's take that guy out before he takes out our O2. Yep, that works. Flak's gonna shoot. No surrender. And they're done. They're dead in the water. We might actually be able to win. Just because... Now that we have spent all that cash that we've been saving up, we have a decent, a decent setup here. There's a quest, so we'll go, or there's a store, I mean, so we'll go store, or we need more stuff first, so we'll go quest store. We'll go here, quest store. Ah, I don't have to backtrack either way. Hopefully they give me enough scrap from here to get the stuff I want from the store. And they did. So we'll go to the store now, and then we'll jump this way. Don't want to hit... Don't want to waste a, a jump on beacons that you've already hit. Mm, but they don't have what uh, I needed. They don't have the cloaking at this store. So, we'll just fix up a bit. And we'll be on our way. Might spend some of this then. Oh, we got a sun. And intruders. Both of these guys should be able to take two humans out. So these guys are better at fighting than humans. Humans are doing pretty good though. Hope I'm able to take them out. I am actually going to jump because I don't want to get set on fire. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself in a huge rebel shipyard, scaffolding and construction drones filling the sector. The entire system looks devoted to ship construction. The nearby planets and moons ruthlessly mined to harvest resources for a ship of immense size. Let's look around. Whoa. Warning lights, flashes, scans identify the gigantic ship under construction. It's the second rebel flagship. This must be the secret shipyards where the first one was built. And you've accidentally stumbled across it. Even in its weakened st state, this ship rebel ships powers up. Get ready, you've got a hell of a fight on your hands. Oh man, that's... This is a bit... Doesn't seem very good to me. He's only got two shields and... I want to get his missiles off. As long as I can get those off and keep them off, it's done. Ooh! Hello! 
I will mind control. Oh, wait. That guy. Unpower that and do that, because these guys are about to die. So we'll need them to be remade in the clone machine. Alright. They are going to take out my doors and my mind control, it seems. Alright, that was that, though. Sent you to fix that. Whoa! Whoa! Well, the second flagship was not yet finished, it doesn't make the battle any less of a victory, and you've crippled the rebel, sheets, the rebel fleet's strength considerably. Well, you don't overstay your welcome. You quickly salvage choice bits of metal, drones, and even an unusual object or two from the wreckage and prepare to jump. Nice. So that would have unlocked the Federation cruiser if I, had ar I hadn't already gotten it. As you are leaving, you detect an interesting Federation ship signal. Apparently, the Rebels were reverse engineering the advanced weaponry on a prototype Federation cruiser. You don't know how they captured the ship intact, but you program its FTL drive to return the ship to the nearest Federation base. You just hope it gets there unharmed. Where was this guy at? sensors you were on there I believe nope this guy was on the doors okay so I got a second flat gun mark 2 which I can sell we delayed them for a bit so we're gonna jump around a bit you enter a system bustling with rebel activity. Supply freighters and resupply stations are dwarfed by a few heavy warships. Luckily, no one seems to be paying attention to a small cruiser. So nobody's here. I can get here and still exit before the rebel fleet comes. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Yeah. Your ship seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear for the cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. So we just got another, uh... That was close, actually. We just got another, uh, quest marker in the next sector. Ship with conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcast broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment available for sale. Hail them. Ship responds, yes, we have an extensive stock. Come aboard and see our wares. I think they're lying, so let's disable their weapons first. You receive a hail as you soon as your hacking system finishes. What have you done? You can never trust a Federation ship. Here, take your standard toll. I really should do business elsewhere, scum. Well, I still got some scrap out of it. Going civilian. Hopefully we can find a store. We're still in a nebula. I want to get out of the nebula as fast as I can, so we're going to go here and try to get, get that quest marker quickly as well. And a plasma storm. You jump to the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapitated ships from the loom from the shadows, briefly illuminated by the light lighting. Uh, okay. Not too bad. We're gonna power this up just so that the weapon pre-igniters works. Oh, but we need something on engines real fast. There's a store, so we're gonna go here and there in distress. Hopefully we can get cloaking. And they have cloaking, so let's get cloaking. It's gonna be the final spot, so yeah, let's do it. We can sell that. Repair up a bit. Alright. 
So now let's power up everything. Oh, I got hurt right there, apparently. So now we gotta fry towards what we want here. I know we need... Oh, we don't really need... gonna need some more reactor for this. Backup battery can do some. Actually, the backup battery, we could upgrade to provide four reactor, and then upgrade that, and that. So when we hit this, we get four reactor power and be able to go one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna upgrade the hacking to max next. The sun We'll take this guy out pretty quickly, though. Oh, I missed a lot, but... Um, we don't need to power that up. There we go. Actually, if we just did that, it will charge faster. So that we can get out of here. Before that happens. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone's on board. Prepare to board and investigate. It's completely abandoned. It looks like it ran out of fuel and the crew ran out of food not long after. Despite the grisly scene that remains, you were able to scavenge some supplies. Sweet. So we can go up here and then go to the quest, looks like. Danger. Stumbled across the forward scout of Rebel Fleet. They're trying to get away. Not on my watch. Let's power that up. Power up everything. Burst laser, chain laser. Oh, look at that. Send you in to help. Uh, we do want to use this and try to get that offline. So that they cannot escape. Oh, they just stunned me. There we go. leave until that gets some more O2. Alright. The backup battery is done. Alright, so let's see. We'll wait a little bit longer. Fire a warning shot for my strongest weapon. Get a bunch of stuff. Quest store or quest there, store out there. Yeah, that seems right. Save up our stuff until this store. If there's nothing at this store, I'm gonna spend it all on the ship. Should we want the lasers or the we really want the weapons down? That guy's got some good weapons. Move this stuff around. Like that. You know what? Like that. We didn't even need the backup battery this time. Alright. Another. 65 scrap. See what's here. System repair drone that we can sell. That's what I wanted. I can get this now. Sell this stupid thing. Just add a little bit extra attack to my thing here. 
Hmm. Maybe I should do this fire suppression thing. Because I have one more space for... Something. I could actually just send that away. I don't know if it'd be... Ah, let's do it. Let's just do that. Keep the scrap arm, because I still get scrap from other things. And the first thing's first, we want to get that maxed. Uh, something like that. For now. Oh, now I want to get the heavy laser going, so I need another hundred or so. I can go one, two, exit. We detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Intervene and defend it. Do that. Do that, I guess. There. There. This setup is working out really well. And just imagine me having yet another laser to go in there. Because this does two damage if it hits something, so. Won't do two, it won't do like two shields, but it'll still only hit one shield. But if it gets through the shields, it can do two damage. Ship breaks apart and you salvage it. Contact the station, get a bunch more. Now we got that. Hmm, we are looking good. We are looking pretty good. thinking whether or not I want to like mind control up it upgraded or if I want to get a third level in, in the cloaking nothing here so let's exit all right small platform orbits near this beacon it looks like a refilling station of some sort and is clear and is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and languages let's dock with it well that's that's nice thanks a lot guy now you get special treatment Let's do it. Okay, we want the heavy laser, shields, chain laser, shields, burst laser, weapons. And they're done. And that's just it. Like, good luck trying to repair all that, guys. The heavy laser shoots fast. That's nice. Here comes a bunch of debris. Oh, it doesn't even get there. Bang. Last stand. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. It might be a shorter one, but the last one was a longer one. In the next episode, we will fight the Rebel flagship. And hopefully we'll win. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel.